Hello guys and welcome back to almost one of the last Finding My Perfect Main videos. Yes, we are almost done, so bear with me and I promise you that in less than a week, you guys will know which class I'm going to make my main for the new expansion. Like in the previous video, I will no longer compare the old Legion talents with the new BFA ones and I will only go over the changes made to abilities, mechanics and gameplay. You guys know the drill. Okay, in this one we are discussing the Druid, and because I mainly play a DPS role during raiding, I'm only going to talk about the Balance and Feral spec. To be honest, Druid has always been the perfect class to play when you were unsure about which role you wanted to play. You could be a melee or a ranged DPS, and a healer or a tank. A hybrid class that has a lot of replayability, and in my eyes one of the most versatile classes in the game. But enough of that, let's jump into the changes made to the Balanced Druid going into BFA. During the beta, Balance saw a number of changes with some very good ones near the end of the beta, being one of the last classes to get sort of a rework, and after that Blizzard decided that all of the other classes who didn't get worked on had to wait up until patch 8.1. Okay, so which changes and new feature influence the Balance the most? Every class has his so-called spec-specific mastery effect, with the Balanced Druid this is called Starlight and this did get changed, no longer being a passive, but instead Moonfire and Sunfire are directly affected by our new mastery. Next is Eclipse. Lunar Strike has a 20% chance to grant you Solar Empowerment and Solar Wrath has a 20% chance to grant you Lunar Empowerment. Solar Empowerment now cleaves on two additional targets within 8 yards for a small amount. Tiger Dash sprints at 200% movement speed for 4 seconds. This ability replaces Dash, which has replaced Displacer Beast. Displacer Beast has been removed in BFA. Sooth dispels all enrage effects from an enemy beast or dragonkin. Last but not least, Celestial Alignment. Its duration has been increased to 20 seconds down from 15, and it now gives 15% damage increase and 15% haste increase. Gameplay-wise, I think the Balanced Druid, as always, remains very strong in cleave situations. It also has strong single-target and multi-target damage due to their multi-dot capability, and on top of that, they are very mobile, which is a huge plus in rates and mythic pluses. The only negative point I can think of is that like with every other dotting class, they do require a little bit of that so-called ramp-up time, but hey, as long as the targets don't die instantly, you should be fine. Rotation-wise, the playstyle is overall a lot of fun, but don't get too confident as spending your astral power the wrong way can turn into a very punishing and unforgiving playstyle. The main idea is maintaining Moonfire and Sunfire on the target while using our Star Search once we have enough astral power. Our Star Search will then grant us a charge of Lunar and Solar Empowerment, and then we simply use our Lunar Strike and Solar Wraths. And as a filler, we can use our non-empowered solar rats to generate astral power. Of course, in AoE situations, we want to use Starfall and cleave our Moonfire and Sunfires on all targets. Then again, we use our Solar Wrath or Lunar Strike when empowered. And then to generate astral power, we can use a Lunar Strike because these do cleave on two additional targets. Overall, I really liked playing with the Balanced Druid. It's a class that has a lot of mobility, and on top of that, they are very solid in most situations. Okay, let's go over the changes for the Feral Druid in BFA. For the most part, Feral didn't really see any big mind-blowing changes, and overall, their gameplay remained mostly the same. Starting with Berserk, which now reduces the energy cost from your abilities while in cat form by 40%, and increases your maximum energy by 50 for 15 seconds. And to nobody's surprise, it is of course on the global cooldown. Tiger Fury now lasts for 10 seconds and now only grants 50 energy. A very good change was made to our bleed effects. Trash, Rake and Rip are haste based now and they will tick faster depending on how much haste that you have. Dash has been reduced to a 2 minute cooldown and is down to a 60% movement speed bonus for 10 seconds. Bearform's stamina gain is reduced by 25%, but the armor did increase and has been raised to 220%. Of course, like the Balanced Druid, Hibernate and Sooth returned as baseline spells. Rotation-wise, Feral did again remain roughly the same and still evolves around applying buffs and debuffs, while at the same time generating combo boards to use them. Personally, I do think Feral is among one of the classes that have a lot of depth to them and you do really need some amount of praxis to make it reflect in good damaging numbers. I really like the fact that there are a lot of possibilities progression-wise to keep improving on your gameplay. 
which brings us to the most important part of the video is druid among one of the contenders for the perfect main spot and the answer is hell yeah i think most of you might be very surprised but druid is one of those classes who are so diverse in terms of gameplay I'm in love with the last minute changes Blizzard made to the balance druid, the gameplay is on point and they feel really strong. Furl on the other hand feels like it's a spec that has quite a lot of depth to it which is something I really like and druid basically has every role available. You can either be a melee ranged DPS tank or a healer. So there you go guys, I have chosen the three possible candidates to choose a perfect main from. You guys might be like hey he skipped rogue and DK. But I feel like just making two other videos for the sake of just making them, while I have already picked my three candidates, didn't really make any sense to me. Nevertheless, I will make quick start guides for both Rogue and DK, so don't worry, there will still be content about the Rogue and the Dead Knight. But of course, they won't be my main. The final finding my perfect main video will be online next week, where I will make a decision between either the Druid, Warrior or Warlock. So definitely stay tuned for that, and also be on the lookout for all of my quick start guides where I show you everything you need to know to get familiar with your class in Battle for Azeroth. That's again all for this one, let me know in the comment section down below which one of you guys did choose to make Druid their main for BFA. Like the video if you liked it and of course don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to check out more WoW videos. For the people that are already subscribed, click on the freaking bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.